Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been doing a lot of home decor and fino puppy content lately and so I wanted to mix it up a bit and bring you guys another hairstyling tutorial. This time talking all about my favourite hairstyles for long hair which are all super easy and super quick to do. This is in partnership with Tresemme. I've been really enjoying working with them this year and creating these hair videos and I feel like they give me so much inspiration and encourage me to shake up my hair routine because I get in such a with my hair. I feel like it's so easy to just end up doing the same style over and over again and so I like to shake it up a bit and hopefully this will give you guys a few ideas as well. So for these styles that are all super easy I'm going to be using a few accessories. I've got a few different scrunchies. I love a nice scrunchie as well as a couple of clips. They're really really cute like these pearly barrettes and slides and I'm also going to be using some hairspray to set the styles. So the one I have is the Tresemme Tres2 Extra Hold Hairspray. This one offers such a great hold. It's such like a staple solid hairspray. You really cannot go wrong with this. It offers a great hold. It's not sticky or tacky and it brushes out really easily which I like and it doesn't make your hair feel like greasy or crispy and it also offers all the humidity resistance which is so useful in Vancouver because it's so humid a lot of people don't realize how humid it is here but it is and nobody wants frizzy hair so this is what I'm going to be using just to kind of set the style so let's jump straight into it so style number one is going to be like a half up do this one is super easy to do you just need a little scrunchie so I think I'm going to go with this cute yellow one and actually before I start doing anything I'm just going to kind of give my hair a little bit of volume because it's a bit flat at the roots and nobody wants flat hair so I'm just going to do my little trick and like back home I'm just kind of back home the roots a little bit and also spray a little bit of hairspray on the roots as well and I find that this just helps to just give my hair a little bit of volume really and it'll be like a nice canvas for these styles. Okay so already we've got a nice bit of volume going on so I'm just going to do that on the other side. Okay, so now that I've got a little bit more volume, I can jump into style number one. So for this style, I'm just going to do a very simple half up pony. So I'm just going to separate this top section. I want to keep it nice and loose. I don't want it to be too tight. And I'm just going to pull out my little, um, little bangs as well, just because I feel like for me, it's a bit more flattering having like a little bit of, of hair to frame my face. And then I'm going to take my scrunchie and just secure the hair at the back in a little ponytail and I'm also just going to kind of just pull out sections of hair just to make the style a little bit looser and a bit more relaxed. And then I'll just take a bit of hairspray and just set the style. And um, that's it. That's my very, very easy and go-to hairstyle, which I do all the time. And um, yeah, I think it's just very cute, especially if you've got like loose waves in your hair. I think it looks really nice. So that's hairstyle number one done. Um, as I said, these are very, very easy. Okay, style number two is one of my favorite looks for summertime, actually. So if you take like an inch wide section of hair, I've left out my bangs just so I have a bit of hair to frame my face. And I'm also going to mimic that on the other side. Take about an inch wide section on that side. And basically just twist the hair and twist it backwards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this around the back of my head. And just secure my hair with my barrette. That looks super super cute and it looks like very beachy and very boho and what you can also do is you can also get this little bit of hair at the front and then basically just twist it around and do the same thing and then secure it in the barrette as well. I think that looks really really nice actually it's like very like Grecian boho style isn't it and then what I'm going to do is just secure the style with my hairspray, just spray the barrette a little bit just to kind of set everything and keep it in place. This is actually such a cute 
hairstyle, I'm definitely gonna do this more. So here you go, giving myself inspiration here as well. Um, okay, so for the third look, I think I'll do like a low pony. Now this is normally my go-to for like day three hair, three days after I've washed my hair, when it kind of needs a wash, but I can't be bothered to wash it. I've been like majorly stretching out my hair washes lately as well, just because I haven't been going anywhere. I'm such a homebody at the minute, especially since we moved into this house. My daily outings consist of like taking Fino for a training walk, maybe going to the beach, maybe going to the shop and that's basically it. So I haven't really been making that much of an effort, but when my hair's done, I feel way more put together. So that's why I kind of like to just make a little bit of effort with my hair, just so that I feel a little bit more like a human and put together. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna bring the pony just down to like the nape of my neck and also just, just loosen it up just a little bit and just pull out these front sections just so that it frames my face. And I'm just gonna secure the pony at the back and um, yeah that's it so very very easy another variety of this which I'll often do if my hair just like isn't really very smooth if it just doesn't really look very nice is I will do a loose messy bun and so I'll just kind of tuck my hair into my scrunchie and wrap my scrunchie round and for this, it doesn't matter if it's messy. That's kind of the whole point of it. And then with my hairspray, I'll just just secure the sides and just kind of tame any any flyaways. And also just spray the bun just to keep it in place. And um, yeah, that's another really lovely style. And I feel like it looks looks really cute with this outfit, especially this scrunchie. So. Yeah, that is another one of my kind of go-to looks. Okay, so for look number five, let's do a high bun. And uh, I'm gonna make this one quite messy like the rest of my styles. So I'm just gonna pull my hair up to the top of my head and just bring out my little bangs. And I think I'm just gonna pop a bun right at the top. This is a great like, day four or day five after washing your hair, hairstyle, when you really can't be asked to uh, wash it and give it a refresh. This is just a really great style. Very, very simple, just like a classic high bun. And um, yeah, I think that looks quite cute. So I'm also just gonna secure it with some hairspray, especially these little flyaways and baby hairs at the back, I find that these these bits always grow so slowly, so I always have little baby hairs that fall out. So I'm just gonna give them a bit of a spray, just to keep them in place. And then just spray the sides, just to kind of tame any flyaways. So yeah, I think that looks very, very cute. This is a great one for when you like really, really can't be bothered to do your hair. Um, okay, and so for look number six, the final look, for this one, I'm gonna do a little bit more of a sort of glam, dramatic look. Not that I'm going anywhere anytime soon. I feel like we've all been like such a homebodies, haven't we, over the last year. I'm just gonna pop all my hair over to one side. I think I'll go with this side. And um, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Serum into my hair just to smooth it all out a little bit and just smooth out the ends. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my barrette, my clip, and this is gonna be like a bit of like a dramatic glam look. So I'm gonna tuck my hair behind my ear and just secure it like that here. And then on this side, I'm gonna sweep all of my hair over and with my hairspray, just create a little bit more body and volume. And what I like to do is just scrunch up, like scrunch up the waves and I find it gives them way more drama. And this is a great like date night look. I mean, it could be like a dog walking hairstyle as well. Maybe I'll do that, seeing as like the only place I'm going is to the beach with my dog. Um, but I think this is like a really, really, lovely style and what I'll often do is just spray my hand with some hairspray, rub my hands together and then basically like just smooth out the hair that way as well and um, yeah I think that looks really cool. Another thing you can do just to set this on the side is just spray 
spray the barrette so it stays in place and um, so that's all like nice and smooth and there we have it very easy very glam and lovely and um, yeah I really like this look so um, oh my dog has my dog has just come back I have a very very wet dog <laughs> waiting outside the door let me show you this is Fino he is very very wet and dirty at the minute aren't you babes I think he's been in the sand and in the ocean Thing on. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's my cue to wrap up this video. I've got to go and bathe a very, very dirty pop. I hope this video has given you a little bit of inspiration just to kind of shake up your hair routine a little bit. I really do like this look, actually. It's like very, very glamorous, isn't it? Be great for all the events that we're not going to right now. But thank you so much for watching. I will leave a link to the hairspray in the description box down below if you want to go and check it out. And let me know in the comment box which was your favourite look and let me know if you decide to recreate any of these styles. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!